Apple's rumor roundup talks about the iPhone 5S and the iPad 5, Samsung getting ready for Galaxy S4 Developer Edition, and Facebook quietly is pulling the plug on their Facebook phone. I'm Jaime Rivera, and please Facebook, don't bring a Facebook tablet next. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the odd news. LG is at a convention right now showing off a new demo unit. And this smartphone, as they call it, is actually special because the screen has no bezel. No bezel whatsoever. And yeah, it doesn't have a front-facing camera, a proximity sensor, buttons, anything. It's just a gigantic screen. No size being mentioned. It's just being designed by this new TFT oxide process that LG is bringing. And we do know that most of Apple products use LG display, so it must be really cool even though it apparently it's not that bright. It'll probably never see the light of day, but it's interesting to see what they're trying to do, hopefully for the future. Now let's talk about Samsung. The company is preparing their developer edition of the Galaxy S4, just like we have on the HTC One already. This device will be available for both Verizon and AT&T, as opposed to the HTC One, which is only available for AT&T and GSM carriers. And, well, we don't have a pricing point. All we know is that the device is already available on the Samsung website. No specifics on dates just yet. And for those of you that are curious as to how many Galaxy S4s have been sold, 10 million is the mark already. Interesting. Now let's move over to Facebook as the company is quietly pulling the plug on its HTC first for their UK launch because according to them, they want to focus more on building the software of Facebook Home to deal with the complaints that customers have and not focus on the hardware. You know, just the polite way to say that they're not selling many phones. It hasn't been pulled from AT&T, but it'll most likely happen. And let me just clarify, this has nothing to do with the Facebook phone. I mean, the phone is actually quite good. The problem is actually the strategy. And speaking of HTC, two things. Number one, they've just sold 5 million units of the HTC One, a very good number if you ask me, and compared to pretty much every other smartphone in the market. And then on the other news, they've just announced their HTC Desire 600, and it's great that they're adopting numbers right now. And this is pretty much the HTC M4 that was leaked. It is an HTC One with mid-tiered specs, and it's actually a quite nice phone. It's got Sense 5, it's got boom sound. We still don't know when it'll launch in the United States, we will keep you posted, but this is a very good mid-tiered phone. Sadly, apparently the display is not that hot though. We'll keep you posted. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, let's talk about the iPhone 5S and the iPad 5 rumor roundup. Apparently there is a new type of microphone at the back for the iPhone 5S and iPad 5, and well, it'll improve video recording sound quality. And you'll also be getting a sort of a dual flash at the back of the iPhone 5S. We don't see this happening on any tablet. And well, aside from that, there is a more news of the budget iPhone bringing a plastic design and color options, but obviously it's kind of hard to know if it'll happen or not. But that leads me to the question of the day. Are you holding off for, you know, an iPhone 5S or an iPad 5 in your next round of purchases for the next couple of months? You know, judging by the manufacturing dates of these products, it's kind of hard to know if they'll happen at WWDC. Honestly, I don't see it happen, but leave us a comment down below if you're expecting any of these products. In my particular case with the HTC One and the Galaxy S4, it's a kind of a hard decision. So let us know in the comments what you think. Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and telephone world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.